hello and welcome to my channel today i was thinking of uh, making a whip and shad i usually call them drill with me but i think it's more like a whip and shad actually um it's sunday the first of september today but before i start drilling i have received a small package and it's from it's china post so from china somewhere and i thought i should just unpack it while sitting here um it should be something diamond painting wise maybe i should just take a pair of scissors I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's drills. So a bit of a warning for the crackling. It's actually the missing drills for my heaven and earth, uh, the treasure hunt bookshelf. And I received 140 colors and three of them uh, were wrong. So they had got like, for example, this one, I had got uh, number 600 and it was called for 601. Uh, and it was the same with all of them. I've gotten another uh, shade of the color so I mailed, uh, I think it's Brady, and told her about it and also said, you know, I think, I think I can, you know, manage with the colors I got, uh, no problem. But just for, the, for her information that it was like a small mistake, but she, she wanted to correct it. So she mailed the new, the new drills. So that's really awesome. I'm really, really looking forward to start that one. But it's so big and the pattern isn't printed on the canvas. It's like a blank canvas. So I'm, I'm a little bit intimidated. And of course, I need to finish Arya Stark, which is the one I'm working on now. Uh, this uh, section and a little bit further down, um, is the section I've been working on this whole week. Um, it's, you know, summer's over, uh, Mina's back at school and I'm back to work and I work 40 hours, weeks at least, 40 hours. And when you get home, you know, it's cooking and homework and not so much cleaning, but it's the dogs and all. So I don't get that much time for my hobbies and when I'm working. Anyway, let's choose a color. Um, I'm gonna go with A. That's uh, 3024 and I use the the Doris bead tray. Highly recommend it. <clears throat> and I've been trying out the the plastic tips and I really like them um, they're kind of a f softer um, which is nice since as I've said before I press very hard when I set, put down my drills and um, I get pain in this joint here. So this helps with that. But um, since I'm pressing so hard, the tip kind of wears down. So, and you can move around the drills as good or as easy as with the metal tip. So what did I say? 
A. Yes. Yeah, so it's been a tough week for me. Um, I mentioned in my other video that um, I was supposed to start a new job this week, which I did. But, you know, emotionally this week, it's been like a real roller coaster. It's been like this section, like you have just dropped a drill bomb and just like that. And you have colors a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit here, n almost no color blocking. I think you call that confetti, by the way. And we like that, but when it comes to drill bombing your feelings, emotions, your mental health, it's not that fun. So <clears throat> it's been tough. And I had to uh, redraw from that new job. Um, I had put too much, mm, what, how can you say in English, like de demands on yourself and I just couldn't handle it. And before building up the courage, you know, to go to my boss and, and tell her the situation, it was tough. It was re really, really tough. Uh, but once I did, then, you know, it was like a big rock falling off my chest. So it, it's much better now. But now I, you know, I'm ashamed of not being able to handle it and I beat myself down pretty bad, but I think it's gonna be better for each day now. Um, yeah. When I feel like that, I go to the food and things to put in my mouth, things to eat, to find comfort in that. And that's another battle and that affects my weight, of course, and as for many others, that's battle you have all your life and it's exhausting so me having these issues and it's not just this week it's been building up for this week the anxiety of how to handle it have I really made the, r the right decision to say yes to this job you know it's been affecting my weight and as I also mentioned before um, I'm a Weight Watcher since the beginning of last year and of course I've gained some kilos or it's actually just over one, maybe one and a half during the summer, which isn't a lot, but for me it's, uh, it's a loss. I mean, it's a, it's a failure. And then I beat myself down for that as well. So I'm, I'm in a kind of a bad circle or bad spiral at the moment. And yeah, I try to, you know, 
um, not to think about this all the time and diamond painting helps because yeah maybe I, I buy quite a few too many but you know thinking of you know oh I can you know make a video on this and how I can improve my unboxings and stuff it makes me happy in some way and as I've said also mentioned that I love editing and how I just can lose time and sitting and you know cutting and making thumbnails and stuff I just enjoy that so um, so it helps and I'm, I'm very grateful for having time for my hobbies to cope with the daily life you know and not go insane um, yeah so my daughter has gone to her new school for two weeks now and we do not regret that she changed school I mean yeah she has some bit of a difficulty with the language but you know she really tries and in these two weeks I have seen progress and she really tries and she comes home and tells me that she's looking forward to you know the next day or the next week and she gets new friends and it feels just wonderful I'm so 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 happy for her and I think really we we made the right decision there <coughs> Oh, and next week she starts dancing again they have summer breaks um, and uh, she's been dancing sh since she was I think it was like five years old she started out um, and now she's 12 so she's been dancing for seven years and she was like promoted from the rookie groups to the upcoming groups so we we yeah because I support her we, we really look forward to to see uh, at the end of uh, like the end of spring next year to see what she's what she's learned and you know what prog progress she has made and so so that's uh, that's very exciting as well I don't see any more A's. Was that really all? No. Yeah, today, later today. Um, we need to need to go to the to the store and get her some some new um, PE clothes because she's been growing this summer holy lord like two sizes taller my god <laughs> and shoes and everything is too small for her now So we need to go and get her some. That means we need to enter the sports store, which I like. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about uh, losing weight. I don't know if you guys like hiking. Maybe there's someone out there who likes hiking or like the scenery in the nature you guys have in America. Um, wait a second. I'm going to choose X and that's 3072. 
yeah on youtube there is quite a lot of people who makes these um hiking videos when they're hiking like the pct or the appalachian trail yeah and there is this one guy his name is second chance and he's hiking the pct and he started i think it was uh, january this year and he weighed 400 pounds when he started out and he was like he know he knew he was dying or he was you know about to die just like any time because of his overweight and he decided if i'm gonna die i might as well do it you know trying to save my life so he's still out there hiking and he's just amazing he has lost like a hundred pounds now and he's so positive and he sees beauty and kindness and you know he always has a laugh or a smile and really really amazing and what a journey he has made i think even he has found love on the trail this is just what a story so head over to his channel second chance and cheer him on or just you know listen a little bit to what he says um start from the beginning or you know just enjoy the scenery he's filming because the city no not the city the pct the pacific crest trail is so beautiful so so beautiful yeah can you imagine i would do i would like to do that as well you know just do the weight loss on the trail that's yeah amazing and he's been out there since january through winter and everything holy lord yeah and he's he has like a food addiction so he really 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 needs to stay out of you know out of town he needs to stick to the trail so and yeah he had an accident as well just not too long ago so i think he's uh, like on youtube where he he has delayed his videos of course uh he um He's, I think he's kind of recovering from the injury, but he is heading back out. Hmm. Anyway, I could go on and on and on about hiking and trails and equipment and backpacks and shoes <laughs> and weight. Not like the human weight but the weight in the in the backpack base weight and food and yeah but this is not about that today um yeah oh my god my second package i ordered from dac has been held hostage at the post office i told you about that before my other video jesus christ it has finally 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 been released after 18 days at the customs mailing phone calling <laughs> begging you know my god finally they have let it go like it was they were they wanted to send it back they wanted to send the package back on the 4th of september and like thursday uh 30 20 and on the 28th no on the 29th i called them and i was like 
I have given you all the information you have. You cannot send my package back. And thank God they didn't. They have just been slacking, I guess. I, I don't know what's been holding them up. But the guy I talked with uh, sent them a remind mail. And the next day they released the package. And I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to pay some for it. But I was like, I don't care what I have to pay. Just don't send it back. Please, just send it to me. I will give you anything. <laughs> I will give you my child. No, just kidding. Anyway, so according to tracking, it's going to arrive tomorrow. And I'm so happy because... Oh, I think there's four diamond paintings. It's been so long. This, you know, it was sent on the 30th of July. So it's been like over a month now. And I think there's four diamond paintings in it. And I think it's like of four different ladies. It's the Mandy Manzano pictures. Oh, I... I've seen unboxings on them, you know, I can watch those over and over again and I'm so thrilled of getting them myself and I'm going to see it for real, you know. Yeah. The, oh, I'm I'm really 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 looking forward to it and I'm off tomorrow. So, oh, it's going to be so good. But uh I got I received another package from Diamond Art Club with two diamond paintings and I'm gonna do two um, unboxing videos of those and you know uh, try to improve the video making so I watched my um, old my first unboxings and I'm trying to you know improve to make it more interesting uh, I've watched others unbox as well so uh, I will go with what I like um, to watch so that's really really nice and um, and in this p package I received now uh, it's my two favorite artists on Diamond Art Club, Manny Manzano and what's his name? Uh, geez, something on G. Wait a second. I have it on my in my book. Uh, Graham Gherkin. Yeah, and. Uh, the one with Mandy Manzano was the picture I saw for the first time when I uh, discovered Diamond Art Club. And it was uh, out of uh, stock. It was sold out. And I was like desperately mailing them, asking, are you, you know, getting this one back? Are you going to restock or, or, you know... W won't I ever, ever be able to <laughs> have this wonderful, wonderful picture? And they were like, you know, we're going to make a release in July. So give, give us a few weeks and, you know, uh, keep uh, looking on the website and you'll see. And I also signed up for the mail. So I got a mail saying oh we would like you to know it's back in stock and I was like holy crap and I know stitch stitch um, stitcherista she said in one of her videos like if they restock them don't wait get it right away because it will be sold out right away so you know I threw myself on the order bottom I was like I need to get it now and it's here with me now so I'm looking forward to making the unboxings yeah 
I do have a few diamond art clubs coming in. I've been kind of on a frenzy and yeah. Sometimes one just has to do that. Um I also got another kit from uh, diamanttavlor.se was the Swedish web store which I bought my like my first square uh, diamond painting from the one with the popping drills and I thought that I would like to give them another chance and I'm still waiting on those drills by the way but she said at least three weeks so I'm waiting mm. But I wanted to check out the round drills. So I've actually ordered a new painting, a bit smaller, but with round drills. And it's uh, a picture of my most favorite Swedish wild animal, the moose. The king of the woods, I think we call them in Sweden. So also looking forward to that and now I'm starting to get you know diamond paintings in and they have all these beautiful colors and they're not like huge as my Arya Stark and I'm like I'm never gonna finish Arya Stark I want to diamond paint something else and I don't want to have multi projects going with the diamond painting yeah, I have to restart the camera every 30 minutes. So that was time to do that. I think I'm done with the X and the A, but I found some W's here. I have missed, of course, I always miss. I think we all do. I've ordered uh, a couple of um, diamond painting pens, uh, those acrylic made ones. I'm really, really looking forward to to get those. I know they, she sent them some while ago, and I, I saw more of the W's. Oh. Well. Uh, and I'm hoping. I will have less pain in my fingers. So what's next? I will go with um, oh, the feather thingy. Four, five, three. Yeah. Do I have something else to talk about? I'm watching quite a few of those uh, live recorded live shows and it's so unfortunate because you know I really feel like I would like to interact with more of the diamond painting uh, people, the crafters and get to know people and stuff but uh, the live shows I think are usually like in the middle of the night for me so it's so so difficult to to attend and I always have to watch you know the next day in the evening but I'm hoping that I could maybe someday stay awake or get up at night and uh, you know say hello it would be that would be awesome so, 
Yeah. And I have been approached by Victoria's Moon. And there's all kinds of different um, reviews, positive and negative. So I think it's great that I'm going to be able to get my own opinion. And I was enabled by Jeremy. The, his picture that he received from Victoria's Moon to review was this a nice scenery with the, the deers, I think it was deers. And I just fell in love with that picture. I love that kind of, I mean, that's what I love about Jeremy and his channel as well, because he has a bit of a, it's a bit different than a lot of the others. He has a lot of animal pictures and I like that. And I fell in love with that picture and I was like, damn. He wasn't happy about it, but I was really happy about the picture. So I actually bought it, but I got it or I ordered it in round drills because I think it was the drills he wasn't too happy about. So I'm crossing my fingers that it's a bit better with the round. I hope so but it's such a nice picture so oh i chose another one at, at the beginning you know for at first because i was like oh i can't you know order there's the w i knew i had some other i can't order the same thing and blah 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 with this but no i it was the only one i loved the colors it was like a very autumn like sunset oh so beautiful so I'm, I'm also very, very much looking forward to that. And Victoria's Moon, it wasn't, I think some have been contacted by someone called Victoria. I wasn't, this was another person or another name at least. And, uh, Yeah, they had chosen some mm, pictures which would where I could choose a picture from, and I chose a lion. I think it is, but it's on its way, so it's gonna be interesting. There's another W. Why don't I see them when I have the colors out? Yeah. And now I mix them up. 648, right? Yeah. Hmm. There's W. trying to close the bead container away from the microphone. I don't always remember, but... Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, there is a lot of, uh, you know, what do you call that? Giveaways when they hit 500 subscribers, a thousand, maybe two thousand. That's so awesome. Imagine how many people we are out there who likes this craft. And I hardly have any subscribers. Uh, but I'm looking forward to if I ever, if I ever get so lucky to have um, 
that amount of subscribers like a hundred I'm gonna celebrate that I'm gonna have a giveaway as well to try to give back yeah so I'm I'm so happy for them yeah and some it's so it's kind of funny because some youtubers you kind of when you watch them the first time it's usually you know maybe when they're new as well but sometimes you they don't well you caught you know your interest that much but then you know i usually watch quite a f few videos of the same person because I know you know um, it's not always the best day to make YouTube videos and it can be you know experience of making videos and stuff and some just you know I try to watch more videos and see well you know everyone everyone has to have a second chance and many of the crofters and youtubers in all kinds of categories they grow on me and i just have to continue and there's a few of the diamond painters which i feel that way towards i just have to watch their videos because they they make me smile and laugh and so there's another five. Yep. It's also because I'm talking at the same time. I'm not used to crafting and talking at the same time. I don't know if you watched my coloring with pan pastels video. It was a challenge I accepted and I was so focused on what I was doing. I just completely forgot to, <laughs> to talk. So there's a lot of fast forwarding or speeding up the video there. And number four, there's two A's. My God, 30, 24, I need to, I can't leave them. Sometimes I feel like, you know, just leave them to until the last, but I, I can't. I think it's that what you call the OCD says no you have to fill them in now for 3756 3756 oh this is a nice color it's like a very very light mint green I thought for the last 15 minutes of this video, I'm going to answer a few of these get to know me ta tag questions. Um, maybe some of you are interested to know a little bit more about me, of who I am. So the first question is where did I grow up? So yeah, I'm I'm born in Sweden, in the very south of Sweden. So that's where I'm born. Uh, we lived in a very small town called Vellinge. And my mom was a stay-at-home mom at that time. I had an older sister who were who is uh, two years older than me and my father worked at the hospital and the union and question number two where do I currently live well <clears throat> I live in Sweden 
I did leave Sweden when I turned 18 and left to live in another country, which I did for 12 years. Then I moved back to Sweden when I met my husband. So this is where I live, but now I don't live in the very south of Sweden. I live in a town called Trollhättan. And it's, uh, um, it's close to the second biggest town in Sweden called Gothenburg. So around that area is where I live. Number three, who is your first best friend? Oh, my first best friend. I have like erased mostly uh, most of the memories of my childhood hood and youth but I think my first best friend was a girl named Petra I have a hard time remember that actually um, but I've always considered my older sister my best friend throughout the years. Even if we had our fights, we, you know, we're friends. And yeah, I think we can share most stuff together. So. But because of my memory, I, I can't really remember who was my first. I know I had uh, some uh, best friends growing up. Um, another one who I still have contact with uh, through Facebook is a girl called Lotta. And she has a special place in my heart, really. She is the one I remember, along with Petra, but especially Lotta. Lotta is uh, like a very good friend. Yeah. Number four. How tall are you? Yeah, I'm 168 centimeters tall. I think it's like five feet five or five feet six. I'm now I'm curious, so I have to, I have to check it out. Uh, in feet, yeah, five feet five. I think five feet feet six and am I? No, five feet and six. Five feet six. That's how tall I am. It doesn't tell me anything. It's 167, seven, uh, 168 centimeters. So I'm not tall and I'm not short. I'm somewhere in between. And all you see is my hand and I'm sorry about that. I don't know how to set my camera to in what you know for you guys to not see my hand covering up the whole picture yeah Back to the questions, if I can find it. Five dogs or cats? Well, dogs, of course. I have two. I told you the story about them in an earlier Drill With Me, an old Paint With Me video. 
I have two stray dogs from Spain, which we adopted. Um, both were found on the street. So, uh, and in that earlier video, there is also, I've also inserted pictures of them. They're the cutest. But um, growing up um, and in my younger days, I always had cats. So it's not that I don't like cats. I do. I love them. But after I got my first dog, I, I just love dogs. I'm not, you know, the best in raising dogs and knowing how they you know how to read their language you know with when they meet other dogs and stuff and stuff like that um but yeah i i do enjoy a dog's company more than a cat's i do and that's all the fours whoops the funny thing is, when I started with diamond painting and, you know, taking pictures and doing videos, my older sister and my mother has also uh, started diamond painting. So that's really nice. And my mother, I told her, don't buy anything else but a diamond art, art club. So she uh, received her first diamond painting, which is I think it's called a flower flower on the rocks so beautiful oh I hope she enjoys it I was like don't get any anything from China you might be disappointed and then you might never finish so spend the extra money so that's really nice so uh, question number six uh, funniest moment throughout throughout high school Oh, those questions are so difficult. As I said, I, I hardly remember anything. Uh, I do remember one great thing. I was a hockey fan. I told you about that. And uh, I liked to draw and paint and stuff, uh, even back then. And... Uh, the guys in my class and my parallel class also liked hockey, of course, and we're che we were cheering on the same team and all that. So they asked me, if we get you the materials, will you please paint a big flag for us to show in the, you know, in the publics and on TV? And I was like, sure. So they got me all the things. And I put the big uh, uh, flag on, it was a white flag. Uh, it was like a sheet on the floor and I started painting and all this. And my father, I, you know, it's amazing he didn't kill me, but he thought it was awesome because he also was a hockey fan. Um, and he was like, oh, that's cool, that's nice. And, you know, we can show our friends that you made that flag on TV and all this. And when we pulled up the sheet from the floor, you know, it had gone through the, you know, the painting has went through the sheet, of course. And, you know, I had the logo I had painted on my floor as well. That was kind of funny. And I was proud because my father was proud, so... Yeah, it was on TV and I was like, yeah, I made that one. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I think I can do another question. Last one. Question number seven. What year were you born? Now, that was an easy question. I was born in 76. I think it was the same year. It was the Olympic Games in Montreal, Canada. 
and uh, yeah I'm I usually say I'm like 35 years old but I'm not of course I think I turned 40 43 this year 43 yeah I don't feel 43 but I love the 40s I could stay here for the rest of my life Yeah. No, we'll do the last one. Now it's the last one. Question number eight. Are you in or have you gone to college? And no, I haven't gone to college. Uh, we don't have that in Sweden. Uh, we have like up to ninth grade and then you go three years in something you call the gymnasium. I don't know if that's high school or something above high school and after those three years you go to the university but no colleges we don't have that um, but I'm thinking maybe Sweden will get it in the future because we usually copy United States what you have we want usually so uh, I don't know if it's go a good thing, college. I think it's good that kids have to move away from home and, you know, get independent. But at the same time, you know, if it's just partying all day and bad things happening, no, I don't like that. But if you go there for studying and, you know, be serious about life, yeah, that's cool. So, that's all for today today it was very nice to have a little whip and shad as I'm, I'm going to call this from now on not drill with me nice to talk to you guys and if you've stayed and watched I want to thank you for watching um, if you have any questions leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe if you're not if you're not already doing that and I will see you next time bye